Microsoft recently released a couple of new features for pivot tables in Office 365 where you can now include images and data types directly in your pivot table within Excel and they behave in the same way the rest of your data does within that pivot table. We can now make our pivot tables look way more interesting and help better capture that audience's attention. One thing to note though, this is currently only available in beta as Microsoft starts rolling it out. I'd like to know in the comments below if you think this is a useful feature or not. Now, let's get into it. Here we have our sales data tab for our incredibly successful, fictional cake business where we sell cakes all over the world. We have a column for country, product, quantity and value which has all our data in but we also have two columns which are currently empty for flag and product image which we need to populate. As I mentioned in the intro we can now use data types in our pivot tables too and this will also help us create our flag column. Let's select all of the data in column A. Excel has an inbuilt geography data type which can be found under the data tab at the top and then data type section. We will select the geography data type and as long as you've got the correct spelling for your countries, Excel will change the text into the data type and you can tell if that has worked as you will get a little symbol on the left of the text within the cell. If you click on the icon, it will open a card which gives you more information about that country and if you hover over one of the items within the card, another symbol appears on the right where we can extract the information to our grid. Let's do that with the flag here for the US. It has now placed the image of the US flag within our flag column. Just keep in mind that this will always extract the information into the next blank column. You can also extract the image by using the dot image operator by typing equals, selecting the cell with the data type and typing dot image. Let's copy that down. To import the product pictures, I have a tab called cakes, which has the product name, product picture, unit revenue and column for the web links for the pictures and I have used the image function to bring the images in for those cakes from the web. If you want to watch a more in-depth video on the image function take a look at this video once you finish this one. Back on the data tab we'll bring through the product images using a simple XLOOKUP formula. Equals XLOOKUP our lookup value is our product in this tab. Our lookup array is the product column on the cakes tab and then the return array is the product picture column. All other arguments are optional, so we'll leave them for now. And if you want to watch a more in-depth video on the XLOOKUP, take a look at this video. Now we have our data table complete, we can produce our pivot table. To do this, highlight all the data and come up to the Insert tab. Then go to Pivot Table, then from Table Dash Range. Check the Table Slash Range information captures all your data and for this example, we're going to select create our pivot table on a new worksheet and then press OK. Let's add the flag and country fields to the rows and product and product picture fields to the columns and then the value field in the values box. Let's switch off the subtotals and change the report layout to tabular. And let's also switch off the grouping buttons and get rid of the field list. You can now make your desired formatting changes to get the pivot table to look just how you want. We'll go ahead and expand the rows in order to make the images larger. Let's center the first column and the row with the product images. Let's remove the text from the sum of values, product and product picture and come up and freeze the panes. Now let's go ahead and format the numbers as number with zero decimal place and press OK. I fancy changing the format style of the pivot table to a light grey. Let's select the whole tab and wrap the text and then middle align it. And now finally, let's center the text in all the columns. Look how good it looks with the visual elements now in it. And what's more, we still have access to the geography data types in our pivot table. But you can't add these directly into your pivot. These need to be done back on the data table and then refresh your pivot table to include them. I really hope you found this video useful and you can think of a way to use it in your reports. If you did, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.